Good morning, y'all. Today's a really exciting day because my grandma's in town. I'm so excited. She's not in town right now, but she is arriving today. So I almost ate the wrapper, but this week is going to be so much fun. I decided to kind of document this week because we have some really cool fun exciting plans we have an exhibition that we're going to be going to we're going to go to the denver botanic gardens probably play some top golf um maybe watch a movie like we we got some plans at least we got two major events that we're going to do that will take y'all along with me but before we get into today's vlog i would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this vlog subscribe so you can get up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back um i feel like i'm getting back into the swing of things with vlogging and very very excited about it i literally just washed my hair today and i used pattern beauty um for like their styling cream their hydrating mist their nectar juice and their curly gel and i kind of like blow dried it a little bit so hopefully like it comes out looking good but my hair really likes the products they're not too heavy so i think once i kind of run out of my shampoo and conditioner i'm gonna like buy her shampoo and conditioner um just because i know that my hair needs very hydrating products like my hair gets so dry so quickly it's insane but anyways this morning i have had a macro bar eating right now i started with a london fog i've been making those which is basically like an earl grey latte but yeah it's like earl grey tea steep it for like three to five minutes and then i added a little bit of creamer just a little bit um with some milk and then yeah that's kind of like how i've been getting my caffeine in the morning is mainly through tea because i can't do coffee but it's been really good and i'm just like listen i still have this tea from harrods i'm gonna drink it i'm just really excited my grandma texted me <laughs> um she like leaves in the afternoon i mean yeah she's leaving this afternoon and her text was so cute she was like checked in getting some tacos <laughs> and then she sent like a bunch of uh emojis and stuff like that and i was like you are you are too cute I'm currently watching uh, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, and it's on Hulu. I'm on episode three. Y'all, this Korea drama is so funny. Like, I... Ugh. And, like, the, the guy who's, like, one of the main leads, who is the vice chairman, the person who plays the vice chairman... is just <laughs> he does such a great job of just being super serious but it's so funny like the things he does and says his character is hilarious and i think he does a really great job like i i'm obsessed um anyways i'll check in with y'all later i'm very excited all right well we just opened up some wine that my grandma got us from H-E-B and she's gonna pour us a glass. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pour us a glass, Grandma? Yes. We've never had this wine. I mean, we've had like the red one, but never the rosé. Yeah. I don't wanna put too much, but we may not like it. <laughs> okay. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's sweet. Not as sweet as the other one. Yeah, but it's still good. I like it's it. It's still good. Smooth. Uh huh. Very smooth. Not super acidic. No, it's not. I mean, it's a little bit, but it's not too much. Mm hmm. And this is a Texas wine. Yeah, from H E B. 
This was made right in, in, in Texas, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I cut my finger trying to like take off the sides here. Oh no. So I had to like get a little bandage. Did you put some thing yeah. on it before? Yeah, I did. I like washed it and then put some I stuff on I thought I got you one too. Some band aid. No, you're good. I mean, yeah. I have band aids of my own that I used. I use a transparent one. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna watch what's wrong with Secretary Kim. If you want to join me. Sure. Okay, so that's what we're going to do tonight. And then I'll do this, Jasmine. Oh my gosh! My first ever Sancocho. She finally taught me how to make Sancocho. I finally made it. We're having it with some rice. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, you can get your no, chip no, no, on your no. rice and I see if it's, it's ready. It, it's but we made it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, yours is, that's good. Can you put mine in there, please? For how many minutes? A uh, minute, yeah. Yeah, pour yours in there. Okay. I don't know, use this. I know, yeah. Oh. All right. Do you have a dumpling in there? Um, you have, yeah. You have three now. Oh, I'm so excited. Guys, I made Sancocho and it came out perfect. Yeah. And we added some rice. We never usually add rice to it, but this time we did and it's really good. All right, we're gonna continue watching What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. <laughs> I can't, why can't I say that? Secretary Kim. I think I said that right. Um, and we're on episode 14, so almost done with the series. A few more episodes left, Grandma. There is only a minute left of this series and then it's over. But honestly, what's wrong with Secretary Kim is probably my new favorite Korean drama. It's so good. It's so good. Um, highly recommend. It's on Hulu right now. So there's that. But uh, yeah, your girl has um, the pimple patches. This pimple up here is very, very tender. But um, tomorrow's really exciting. Let me fix my hair. You can kind of tell my hair is brown a little bit here. At least it's like easier to kind of see. But tomorrow night, we are going to the Michelangelo exhibit. So y'all will be seeing a little bit of that. We are very excited. There's also an auditory part of it. So we have to like download something um, so we can listen to it on our phones and just take our time through going through that. Um, and then we have a big dinner uh, the next day. And then on Friday, we're going to the Dunbar Botanic Gardens, which I haven't been to in like over a year, a year and a half. It's been a while. So very exciting things to come. I feel like I'm going to try to book things, like get tickets to things as often as I can um, for events and stuff that I want to go to, even if I have to go by myself, because, you know... I need to be able to enjoy things and do things for myself and take myself out and have fun. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is an encouragement to you. If there's like an exhibition, if there's an event that you really want to go to, don't hold yourself back by waiting to go with someone. Although these two things that I'm doing this week, I am going with people, aka my grandma, <laughs> a person. 
but the Denver Botanic Gardens I've gone to by myself before. Um, I've gone to art museums by myself a lot before, and I feel like I do that more when I travel, and I really just need to do it more here and be more intentional. So it's a reminder to myself, but also to y'all. So I'm going to finish this series, brush my teeth, wash my face, and go to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow for the exhibition. All right, so we are heading out to the Michelangelo exhibit. Um, borrowed my grandma's sweater. I'm excited. I'm excited to go and to take y'all with us. We made it inside. Oh, it's very empty. Are these replicas? Yeah, the replicas. Wow. Okay, guess we start. like it? Yeah. Well, we did it. We just got out. I would say it's worth it because you're a lot closer because everything that you're seeing is like on the ceiling at the Sistine Chapel. So it's like stuff that you can't get a lot of like detail out of from so far away. So this experience allows you to see it very closely. So we enjoyed it. We liked it. Now we're heading back home. Wait, you say you're cultured? I said I am now cul cultured <laughs> from the Sistine yes. Chapel exhibition. But I say, you know, I didn't see all those details up front because, you know, it's so high up. Yeah. But now you saw the details and I mean, really detailed. Well, Michelangelo likes showing the man's penis though, you know? Every time you turn around, I see something like that. But the, <laughs> what I noticed is the angels, uh huh. And and and, it, and you know, angels were not shown that they were covered. Yeah. Same thing with like the prophets and God mm -hmm, mm -hmm, covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that as well. A lot of penis. A lot of penis. Mm -hmm. What's the deal with this guy? <laughs> All right. So I forgot to show, but I literally just made some pots de creme. I realized I should have told my grandma to get uh, chocolate graham crackers, but we got regular um, Teddy Grahams. But essentially pot de creme is like semi-sweet, oh, uh, semi-sweet. Oh, it's because she has this fill to the brim. That's why it's not closing. It is, hold on. There we go. It is semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips. You add in two tablespoons of vanilla extract, a hefty pinch of salt, coarse salt, and four eggs, blend that up. And I think it's 12 ounces of chocolate. I only had 10, but I was like, these are the cards that I've, uh, dealt myself so i'm gonna just use the 10 ounce one but you typically would use 12 ounce 
blend that in a blender and then you would add hot coffee about eight ounces so i did that um i didn't do caffeinated coffee i did decaf coffee because that is all that i had instant decaf coffee which will be fine um you'll still get the taste you just won't get the jitters i guess of the caffeine which will be good which means that my grandma can have some and uh then you blend it some more uh real quickly and honestly the entire thing probably takes you like five ten minutes to make but then you have to you can pour it in little jars or containers whatever you put graham crackers if you want to at the bottom i wanted to so that's what i did and then you pour in the pot de creme uh the creme to go in the pot the pot de creme and then you can top it off with some graham crackers if you wanted to typically you would use chocolate but i forgot that detail and told my grandma to just get regular teddy grams uh so it's fine and then so we put it at the bottom fill it with the creme and then you put a little bit on top and then you just set it for a minimum of three hours um these are gonna set overnight because we have some apple pie and ice cream so we might have a little bit of that and my grandma also might have some wine because she brought wine so we might do that as well uh she brought four bottles so we i'm just like listen you're gonna take it back because i don't drink this much Oh my gosh, she'll she'll drink more than I I will though this trip because I'm driving uh, a lot. So, anyways, um, we're gonna let those set and then we got some like coconut whipped cream to kind of just go on top, dairy free, and that will be the dessert. Uh, maybe sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon powder to just give it a little arum bom bom, a shing bong bing. Uh, type of thing and I am going to continue watching Oh My Venus which is on Hulu I finished What's Wrong with Secretary Kim on Hulu and it was so good oh the last episode was so beautiful her ugh, I can't I can't say it in case you're gonna watch but anyways um yeah so I'm watching Oh My Venus it's an interesting uh k-drama It's an interesting one. I realized I never watered my plants, so I need to water them tomorrow. But yeah, uh, we are going to have the pot de creme tomorrow. Um, wasn't able to make as much as the batch called for because I didn't have 12 ounces of chocolate, but that's fine, I had 10. But now I know how easy this stuff is to make. And we got like the quilted crystal jars from Walmart. Uh, it's like 12 quarter pint ones so yeah they each hold about four ounces which is nice but yeah i am going to just chill because i'm tired and uh tomorrow i have off i decided to take the rest of the week off which is great uh to just spend with my grandma while she's here so yeah we're just gonna spend the next few days kind of chilling and i'm probably gonna go to the gym in the morning like i've been doing the past two days but we have the denver botanic gardens on friday which i'm very excited for um so yeah i will check in with y'all soon i am tired most likely not gonna have dessert because i had some kimbap from H Mart. My grandma went to H Mart today because she needed to get some ingredients. Because uh, we're running out of Sancocho. Because she had a lot today. So she was like, we need more. Uh, so, we, so we got that to make more, which is going to be great. But yeah, I will check in with y'all later. I'm just going to chill on the couch and watch All My Venus. I am not sponsored by Brooklinen, but y'all, I forgot how comfortable their sets are. Like truly, it feels like luxury. 
it feels so nice the colors i chose go with like these pillows that i already had from target <sighs> i'm so happy i think i'm gonna get like a plaid or checkered um throw to go over just to you know take my bed up a notch elevate it a little bit and then i should be and I should be set. So, I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm just really obsessed with my bed. Y'all, the sale that they had was so good that I was like, of course I have to get this. <sighs> just trying to elevate my life one step at a time in small ways. Um, by no means is this cheap. But it's also not like crazy crazy expensive so there's that i thought i would come on and end the vlog since grandma's leaving today she's gone back home and i'm watching hometown cha-cha for the second time on netflix it's so good i love this korean drama but yeah i thought i would end it here if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for joining us on an eventful week, I would say. Um, the Sistine Chapel is really great. I've seen it in person, but it's so high up that you can't really get all those details and that we have this exhibition where you can and get really close and see all the things and see all the prophets and just like the storytelling is just incredible. The details are insane like the entire thing is just incredible um but yeah and then also going to the denver botanic gardens a lot of the plants that were outside were dead around this time of year which makes sense because it's very cold outside so when we were inside um that one area i can never remember how to say the name so i'm not gonna even try when we were inside there, the plants were luscious. They were alive and thriving. It was so great and so beautiful. My grandma and I had a great, great time. Right now she's watching something on Disney slash sleeping on the couch. So I'm gonna let her do her thing. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, so you can keep up to date with all the things that I'm doing and comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.